Welcome back to Module 5 of the SCAP e-learning course on BPA for Trade Facilitation. This module is about capturing and modeling of the existing or as-is business process in the scope of our BPA project. We are now discussing phase 2, the data collection and process documentation phase of a BPA project execution. There are two steps within this phase. Firstly, acquiring background information about the business process under investigation. And secondly, conducting interviews and documenting those captured information about the existing business processes. Let us start by discussing about the first step of acquiring in background information about the business process under investigation. The objective of this step is to acquire as much as possible first-hand information about existing business processes in the scope of our analysis, including information about related laws and regulations, sequence of activities required to complete each business process, related forms and documents, and also contact details of potential interviewees for further investigation. Process analysis of the BPA project team need to work with the management support from the project manager. He or she needs to conduct this research for acquiring background information about the business processes in the scope of the BPA project from several available sources. For example, printed documents, related manuals, and internet resources. Some good understanding about the existing processes and organizational context should be captured as much as possible before the interview and site visit session. The second step in this phase is about conducting interviews and documenting capture information about the existing or the as is business processes. The objective of this step is to conduct the face-to-face -face interviews with the business domain experts to gain in-depth understanding about the existing business process in the scope of our investigation. After the interview, and if possible with the site visit, the site observation, process analysis should consider all inputs and document those findings. There are at least four outputs that should be developed in these steps, namely a set of actuary diagrams, a set of written process descriptions, an integrated actuary diagram that represents an interconnected view of all involved business processes, and a time procedure chart. With the support from the project manager, process analysis should meet an interview with business domain experts who are knowledgeable about the target business processes. The opportunity to interview and discuss with the domain experts, and if possible, to also observe the actual practices in the real environment, will guide the process analysis to verify and validate their findings, their understandings of the business processes and documentation requirements. So, who are the potential interviewees? The potential interviewees should be business domain experts, process participants, those who are knowledgeable or who are in charge of carrying out activities required to complete a particular business process, and dealing with these respective procedures and formalities associated with that business process on a daily basis. For example, freight forwarders are normally quite knowledgeable about the international trade and transport procedures of their country. So they are obviously the good candidate interviewees about freight forwarding activities. Government officers who are handling and issuing import permits of food products from the Food and Drug Administration are obviously the potential interviewees about this permit process. So next, how to conduct an interview session. The interviewing session 
to be started by giving self-introduction and informing about the objective of the interviewing meeting and the overall objective of the BPA project. If this project is endorsed by the high-level authority, it should be stated also at this time. The interviewees should then be informed about the contribution of the information to be captured during the interviewing session, final outputs of the project, expected project outcome and impact. Interview questions could be categorized into different sets, such as questions about business process related issues, for example, who or how many people are involved in this business process? What are the necessary activities that an exporter or an importer has to take in order to acquire a particular document? What are the supplementary or attached documents that an exporter or an importer has to submit along with the application form when a particular document is requested? What are the laws or regulations associated with these procedural and documentary requirements? Or which business processes can be carried out in parallel or simultaneously after another business process? Some other questions could be about information flow related issues. For example, with which other actors in the business do you need to communicate? Or what kind of data do we need to exchange? Or what kind of information do we need to send and to which actor? There could be questions related to time-related issues. For example, how much time, including waiting time, in average number of hours or days, does it take to complete this entire business process from the beginning to the end? What is the maximum or minimum time? How many actual man hours does it require to complete this particular activity in this business process? There might be some questions related to cost issues, like how much in average does it cost to complete this particular activity in this business process, or to process one document. And also, there could be questions related to suggestions for improvement, like what are the problems or bottlenecks that you encounter in procedures and regulations to import or export some particular product? What are improvements that you would like to see in the near future? So next, how to conduct an interviewing session? We suggest that one or two process analysis from the BPA project team should participate in each interviewing session. It is a good practice to obtain permission from the interviewee prior to recording the interviewing session. We recommend that we should keep the interview in a free-flowing and conversational style, but yet within the basic structure framework, normally starting with open questions, and then later on, we might have some following up questions. Also, seeking interviewees' opinions and observations on any bottlenecks and issues that should be improved, why and how to improve them. The lead interviewer or the lead process analysis should keep eye contact and good engagement with the interviewee, while another process analysis writes down everything, write down any uh, findings. The lead interviewer would lead in asking all the main questions, but then another process analysis could help asking following up questions. The interviewer attempts to summarize all key points to confirm with the interviewees or to collect their own understanding. Sample documents and data required to process should be requested from the business domain expert also. And don't forget that time schedule for this interviewing session should be respected. After the interviewing session, process analysis should come back 
to consolidate all the statements made by the interviewees into an actual diagram for each use case immediately upon their return to the office. So next, how to draw an actual diagram for each use case. Based on the information from the interview, a process analysis should prepare the swim lanes for parties involving in that business process. List activities and decision points involved in the business process in a sequential order and categorize them according to the party who carrying them out. And for each decision point, provide conditional statement for each transition. If applicable, list documents requires as inputs to each activity and categorize them according to the party who provide the documents. If applicable, list documents that are output of each activity, create a starting point and ending point and connection of all activities and documents that are required. The sample actuary diagram shown here provides an elaboration of half the product sample and examine use case, which is a part of a BPA study of trim exportation from Thailand. This is the half the product sample examine actuary diagram. Business domain experts should help us reviewing and looking for the correctness and completeness of these actual diagrams and provide feedback for further refinement. Process analysis would revise and correct this actual diagram according to the feedback received. Once further revision on individual diagrams is no longer required. Process analysis should capture those understandings into textual description for each individual actual diagram. Uh, this is the written process description that should be developed for each actual diagram. The process description is where process analysis provide qualifications on practicalities of the business process and each actually listed in that actual diagram. The written process descriptions have to include the following elements. Firstly, the name of a process area which this particular business process belongs to, the name of a business process, related rules and regulations name of responsible parties, input and criteria to enter or begin this business process, procedures and associated documentary requirements to complete the process, output and criteria to access the business process, and the average time and cost required to complete the process and duration for each involved transaction. Please refer to a sample process description from the UN Next BPA guide for further details. Next, the process analysis to develop an integrated actuary diagram. Uh, this is the next activity that process analysis should work together to integrate all actuary diagrams of the business processes associated with all use cases defined earlier into a single integrated actuary diagram. The integrated diagram represents an interconnected view of all core business processes or all cases. It illustrates relationships between core business processes, process participants, and information flow throughout the area under the scope of the BPA study. For a sample integrated actuary diagram. Uh, this is a partial integration of actuary diagrams from the case of trim exportation BPA study. Next, drawing a time procedure charge. Process analysis 
should collect quantitative data about business processes and documentary requirements as much as possible, especially those related to the time and cost incurred in each visit process. Normally, the average time and the average cost it takes to complete the process should be captured and verified. To capture information about time needed for carrying out those business processes, a chart called a time procedure chart should be developed. Process analysis present a time frame, for example, showing the average time to complete the processes, and a timeline, for example, the time in which core business processes occur in relationship to other core business processes, either in sequential or in parallel. This is in which core business processes are carrying out in the time procedure charge. So this is a sample time procedure charge again from the case of tri-trim exportation BPA study. This time procedure charge corresponds to the use case diagram as shown in module number two. When we discuss about the scope of a BPA project on trim exportation from Thailand. It summarizes the time frame and timeline in which all core business processes, 11 of them as shown also in 11 use cases. About 30 days are needed to fulfill all these core business processes. These 30 days are needed to be completed in order to export trim from Thailand. The cost procedure charge, illustrating relationship between cost and associate procedure could also be developed in a similar fashion. Process participants and business domain experts should review the integrated activity diagram and the time procedure charge and then provide that feedback. And based on those feedbacks and review, these diagram and charts should be refined accordingly. Therefore, in summary, uh, this module walk you through some tips and techniques and examples on how to capture and model the existing or as is business processes in the scope of the BPA project. We recommend two main steps that must be carried out, namely acquiring background information and preparation, and then interviewing and capturing of the capture data related to the existing business processes. Normally, there must be several iterations of this research, preparations, interviews, site observation, and also several rounds of reviewing with process participants and also domain experts for verification and validation of the findings. At least four main outputs should be generated from this phase of the BPA project, namely a set of factory diagrams, written process description for each actual diagram, and integrated actual diagram and a time procedure charge. Process analysis with a good personal skill play a major role in conducting this, this research, preparation, interviewing, consolidation, modeling, and documenting the existing business processes. Good collaboration by business domain experts and relevant organizations is very really crucial for this BPA exercise. So I wish you enjoy and find this module useful for your work. With that, I thank you for your attention and hope to meet you again in the next module.